family, friends, and loved ones all gathered to honor the life and legacy of Rashawn Palmer and vowed to keep his work going, raising awareness for the sickle cell disease. Rashawn Palmer was a local businessman, an advocate for sickle cell awareness, and father that had a passion for fast cars, and particularly Mustangs. He and I have always raced each other, and, and just the, the funnest days when I beat him, you know. That was probably one of the greatest milestones I had. As part of the funeral procession, the family asked officers to block a small portion of Watkins Drive on Saturday to do one last burnout in his honor. Rashawn's mother is currently in mourning, but is relieved to know her son's years of suffering is now over. I, I am so saddened, but I am also okay with it because he has fought a long battle and it's over. He's at a better place now. Even though he had many health complications as a result of sickle cell, loved ones say he wouldn't show it. To see him battle and handle it the way he did, couldn't nobody else have done it like that. His main thing was to let people know about sickle cell. He did sickle cell walks. He was in a wheelchair. He did wheelchair walks for sickle cell. Sickle cell is a blood disease primarily found in African Americans that can cause organ failure and excruciating pain. Males suffering from sickle cell only have an average life expectancy of 42 years. A lot of people don't know what it's like to wake up with that disease every day, to hurt from, you know, the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Roshan's sister plans to keep raising awareness in the name of her late brother. With his company, he would host like sickle cell walks. He would get like groups of people to come out and walk for the Sickle Cell Foundation, which is something that I plan to do every year in his honor to, to just keep his legacy alive. Roshan is survived by his 14-year-old daughter who also lives with the disease and a proud family. A job well done, Sean. Your mama love you and the, your memory will live on. Anthony Howard, WJTV 12.